you're the country's largest cement manufacturer. You had the opportunity to become dramatically larger in one single shot uh, with the potential purchase of Holson, which was the second largest player. Though I do know, and it was quite obvious to everybody that there would be competition uh, complexities to that kind of transaction. Um, how do you look at the fact that it is now gone to a different Indian entrepreneur? Because there are many implications of uh, how the competitive landscape changes here on. I don't know what the implications can be, frankly. The fact is that these are existing assets on the ground. Yes. These are not new uh, capacities being created. No, they're not. So to that extent, I mean, you know, it, it, it remains unchanged. I don't know why uh, a new player would behave irrationally. Uh, especially after paying the kind of price uh, that uh, he has. Uh, I don't see how it will change competitive dynamic uh, in a very sort of well, I think significant I, way. I can tell you the way analysts are looking at it, that, uh, uh, you know, traditionally or conventionally, MNCs have, uh, you know, sort of not been very aggressive when it comes to growth <laughs> in foreign countries like India. Uh, and that was the case with Holson. Um, but now that it's an Indian entrepreneur, uh, you know, the growth push would be much, much harder in terms of additional capacities. I don't just mean by a price, uh, but no, no, I no, also I'm, mean by a market yeah. share and otherwise. Uh, so I so. think we're very sort of entrenched uh, in the business in a very positive way. We've been in the business for uh, several decades now, very entrenched with, uh, uh, you know, the channels that, uh, uh, you know, form the eco ecosystem of the business. And we have our own growth plans. Uh, we have a large market share, our brand, uh, you know, commands a premium, uh, is loved by our consumers. And we have our own plan that we plan to go ahead with, you know, as we would have even otherwise. Okay. It's always good to have competition. You know, we've been used to competition. Sure, Out I just meant a, uh, the expectations of a more aggressive level. Why Why were you not able to close this deal? Was it just competition complexities that I, discouraged? I don't think this deal made sense for us financially. Uh, I think we have... Uh, better options of growth, be it greenfield, be, be it... Uh, so you mean the uh, valuation was too expensive to match? Of course, there would be CCI issues. I think those could have been resolved. Uh, well, are you saying the deal has been done at too rich a price? You know, for price you. For, for us, you. Yes. yes. Price is price, in the eyes of the beholder. Of course. So for you, yeah, I'm saying for, it's... For us, is... I don't think we could have created value at this as price. much as we, we can in other options that we're looking at. Those other options would be greenfield expansions, Correct. I would think. Correct. Greenfield or brownfield. Um, you know, I mean, so we've that, been in the business, like I said, so we have growth plans that we've been working on on a continuous basis, so to speak. Yeah. So I think uh, that was my second question that, uh, you know, will this spur you to more aggressively look at inorganic acquisitions in the cement space? And there are companies, mid-sized companies that you might mm -hmm. be able to buy with fewer competition complexities to that extent. Um, but given that the expectation is that here's an Indian entrepreneur taking over the second largest cement company in the country, and will bring aggression to the marketplace. Um, will you that know, spur you? If you look back you? at the growth of architects, we've taken some very big and very I know, aggressive I'm aware. Uh, yeah. bets. It's all about value creation, I mean, I don't think that we're going to start bidding for assets uh, you know, much more aggressively only because there's a new entrepreneur in the sector. Right. Uh, that doesn't make, that's not how it works for us. You know, it must create value and value creation is basically at the end of the day what matters. Uh, I don't think that we start bidding for assets completely irrationally only because there's a new entrepreneur in the It just doesn't work like that. Not time. only because, I just thought maybe that could be one more so compelling factor. So at the end of the factor. day, uh, we are happy to pay. We have paid full price in several instances yes. uh, where we bought assets. But it was because we believed that we could create value out of uh, those assets. See, at the end of the day, I think that's litmus test. 